a key to success of turning the Afghan National Security Forces into a, a uh, counterinsurgency capable force, I think, is partnering. Now, partnering involves training the Afghan National Security Forces. We've been doing that for about eight years. Uh, but it also involves working with them on a day-to-day -day basis, training with them on a day-to-day -day basis, planning with them, letting them plan their operations, executing the operations together, living on the same compounds, sharing the same risks, you know, and partnering from every level, from squad level to Ministry of Defense level or Ministry of Interior level. We really haven't done that in the past. There are several organizations that have partnered at different levels with various, uh, uh, various levels of success. But we've never had true partnering. And uh, if, if we continue to lead the ANSF because we don't trust them and we don't think they can do a good job, they're going to continue to let us take the lead. We've got to lead beside them. Uh, we've got to let them understand that this is their war that they must do the planning and they must execute it. And, we understand, and we've got to understand that they're not always going to be perfect and they're not always going to do it uh, the way that we would want them to done, the way, we, way, we, the way that our forces would have, would have done it. And we've got to accept you know, what is good enough for them. The insurgents aren't 10 foot tall. The insurgents aren't uh, undefeatable. The insurgents are very defeatable. I mean, they're Afghans, just like our Afghan National Security Forces. So we have to truly learn to trust them and to push them into the lead, to support them, to lead beside them, to lead behind them, and sometimes to, to push them forward. But we've got to build a true trust and confidence. And one way I like to look at it is, is uh, you could have a, a squad of coalition forces on one side of the road and a, a squad of ANSF, uh, a, uh, Afghan National Army on the other side of the road, and you take contact. Now, naturally, when you take contact, especially if you're, if you're uh, sort of a young force, you sort of go through your battle drills and you do what you're supposed to do. But then you sort of kind of, you know, you sort of look around and you look at your leaders, but you also look around at your comrades and you see what, what are they doing? Are they firing their weapons? Are they uh, aggressively m moving on the enemy? You know, what are they doing? Are they, they cowering behind a rock or behind a building? And, of course, if they're fighting aggressively, that emboldens you to fight aggressively. And we think the same thing will happen with the ANSF. When, we, when we're out there sharing the same risk and we take contact, I think they're going to look over at the coalition forces and they say, wow, look at them. They're fighting hard. They're risking their lives. And that's going to embolden them also to be more bold and to be more aggressive and to fight with us shoulder to shoulder. So we have to truly understand that true partnering. Uh, respect is always mutual. Uh, we haven't always respected the Afghan National Forces as we as we, uh, as we should. And we have to partner again from the squad level all the way to the Ministry of Defense level because at the end of the day, we can tell the Afghan security forces what to do, but at the end of the day, their chain of command is Afghan. And so we have to put pressure completely up and down the chain of command to truly make them a, a counterinsurgency capable force.